Buongiorno from Ragusa. We have quite an emotional story for you. 86-year-old Paula from Michigan came here with her son and three grandkids to walk on the very streets that her grandfather, Salvatore, walked on before he left for the United States in 1906. It's quite an emotional story. And also, she was able to find first cousins here in Ragusa, and that meeting was just incredible. Check it out. Adio. Your grandfather, Salvatore, left for America, but he had to go by way of Argentina. The fare was cheaper if he would get to Naples and take the boat from Naples, go to Buenos Aires. He arrived there with his brother in Giorgio, 1907. Not 1906 got a job to make work for fare to get on to New York and Ellis Island. And so it was a year later that they arrived at Ellis Island, Salvatore and Giorgio Massarello. And what did they do when they arrived in Michigan? Looked for work. Giorgio stayed on the East Coast, but my grandfather was carpenter, stonemason, um, and he stayed on the East Coast until he had three children, and then he moved west where they were building all the new manufacturing plants. And he ended up in Flint, Michigan, working on the first General Motors automobile plant in the city of Flint, Michigan. And your grandmother, Paula? She was, was a hurt. homemaker. He was from Monterosa Almo, which is apparently up the hill from here. Yeah. What does it feel like to be here, Ragusa Ibla, about ready to meet your first cousin? Do you know who, who's familiar with American songs? John Denver wrote a song. He said, I was born in the summer my 27th year and that's what I feel like. I am born in the springtime of my 86th year. Home. Home to see where Grandpa came from. I'm sorry to be emotional but it's, it's taken so long to get here. It just, it's good for my heart. <laughs> and thanks you Esther. Couldn't have done it without you. San Giacomo. San Giacomo. Your dad's, your dad's name was San Giacomo, right? My dad, my dad was Jack. His his birth certificate says Giacomo. He is a son Giacomo, and interestingly, that was Paula's father's name. Here's the Giardino, the beautiful public garden. And these colors are just spectacular, right? Who are you lighting yes, this for? This one here. My grandfather this and my grandmother. One. There you go, Salvatore. Oh, there you go. And here she is, the Lady of Tears. No. Who was Giuseppe? Giuseppe was my great grandfather. And then uh, my grandfather Salvatore's firstborn son was also Giuseppe. So, what was your grandfather like, Salvatore? My, my grandfather, tall, thin, blue eyed, blue eyed Sicilian, loved baseball. He would wait for me to come home from school and he would pick out the articles about baseball in the paper and tell me, cut this one out, cut that one out, and I kept a baseball scrapbook for him. He was a family man, loved the family, uh, called me his sassy American girl, <laughs> even though at times he expect me, expected me to act all Sicilian and be very submissive, and yet he enjoyed it so when I wasn't that way. <laughs> they left. Well, it, it was for a better life for the children that they would raise, um, and just 
there were no work opportunities. You were a laborer, you would be working, you know, hard labor, uh, I don't, clearing the land, whatever. They just wanted better opportunity. How do I want to say it? Oppressive authority. They wanted to go to a land to be free. Searching for freedom, searching for liberty, searching for independence, and just a better way of life. It must be incredibly emotional after all these years to be here in Ragusa where your grandparents were born. It's fantastic. It's it's amazing, and my one regret was it took me so long to get here. But you're here now. And I'm here now. <laughs> Paula, a little victory, huh? <laughs> okay. My aunt, my uncle, my grandfather, my grandmother, my mother, and my father have walked on these steps. First time they're meeting. Giovanna, la figlia della zia Maria. Okay. figlia sua. No, no, lei è figlia sua. That's her daughter. E questa è mia sorella, quella che veniva da Firenze, che ti avevo detto, ti ricordi? Sì, she came from Florence to meet her. Sì. E il nonno. Giorgio. Giorgio. So, you guys are first cousins. Oh my God. Noi siamo qui di prova, ma sorella tu hai capito? Sei di Marcella. Ma Marcella. Sei solo io la potevo fare sta cosa, però. Solo io la potevo fare sta cosa. Ti manca ma freddo. Look for years we've done that. My daughter has helped with, to look through the, for the surname, through the telephone. Through the, uh, and we couldn't find anything. Finally, the internet, and last fall, my granddaughter says, Grandma, try Facebook. <laughs> Which granddaughter? Uh, Bonnie. Bonnie Hornbeck, the, my son's, uh, my youngest son's oldest daughter. And you found them? Facebook. Father Salvatore left Ragusa to go to America with his brother Giorgio in 1907. Loro è arrivata New, New York. USA, New York. Ellis, Ellis Island. My, yeah. Oh, Salvatore then sent for his wife Paola. Three children. Loro ha avuto tre figli. Yeah, Giuseppe, Giacomo, Giovanni left the East Coast for mid middle USA. Ella, uh, New York. Uh, the mafia very prevalent at that time in the U.S. Giorgio in trouble with the mafia wants to come back to Sicily. Salvatore and asked to switch passports so he could escape to Sicily without being identified. Listen to this part of the story. So Salvatore is Paola's grandfather. His brother got in trouble with the mafia and so the two of them came up with a plan that his brother is going to use Salvatore's passport to get out of the country and he left his with Salvatore. Fast forward and Paola brings the cousin's grandfather's passport back to them and a few days later the cousins found Salvatore, Paola's grandfather's passport. So it's a full circle. Incredible, right? Paola, what, Paola, what does it feel like to give this to them? 
It feels wonderful to have family to pass it on to. And now here is the passport. Questa la passport. They didn't know the story. This is Giorgio, their grandparents. Posso? Now listen to the story that the cousins had from their grandfather. They said that he ran away to come back to Sicily because he was forced to marry someone he didn't want to, and he ran from the church. Two stories going parallel for decades, and now who knows the truth, huh? So now he's saying that Giorgio was going to get married, but he escaped and didn't go to church and ran away. Okay. 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 They're a little bit surprised. They didn't know the story. Everyone's surprised. Nonno Giorgio was brother. His grandfather was brother with Paola's grandfather and also his it's a big surprise for him. Paola, who is that? Great aunt, Carmela, Giorgio. Wow. Yeah. Dad's brother. Yeah. My uncle Gio Giovanni. Giovanni. Venus. Giovanni. Uh, okay. That's your grandmother. That's my grandmother and, and that's father. Uh, Lui chi è? Fratello? Lui. No, lui è papà di Paolo. Ah, this is your grandfather. Yes. No, great grandfather. No, this is great grandfather. This that's is Salvatore. This is Giacomo. Okay, so that's your father. Hello. Father and mother. 67. Uh, when your father yeah. came here in 67. Yes, this is my father. Uh, this is Aunt Tina and Catherine who came. And this is Giorgio. This is her grandfather. Yes. Your papa, your mama. Ah, her father. Oh, grazie. Sono dei dolci di Ragusa. Sweets from Ragusa. So let's see. Oh, no, it says the, on the, the, this is the wedding day of Paola's grandfather and grandmother Paola, Salvatore and Paola. Paola, Michael. So she brought all these things that say Hollywood on them. Uh, ben Boy. This was done in 1967 when Paula's father and mother came here. Look, they recognize that, but Chetu, Chetu, when he was small. Bimbo, Bimbo. And who? Giorgio. Sì, sì. <laughs> no. <laughs> 1967. Ah, Catania Airport. <laughs> So you are the first cousin with his father, but that's their son, so that's your second cousin. I think it's a little bit family. It's just family. That's that. Where's your dad? Right here. That's your dad. Yes, yes, yes. I have that picture. Oh my God. Kia, Kia. Questa chi è questa qua? La tua mamma. La tua mamma. Your mom. Yes. Her mama was Venus. Venus. My grandma was Paola. Okay. And look, Louis, chi è Giorgio? No, no, mio. Giorgio. No, no, your grandfather. Mother. Oh my God, look at that. They're trying to figure out who's who. Yeah, my youngest son does these 
and he sells them at the market. My, my son, my son Dan. Filio, la filio, il filio fa, a fatto. You have no idea what it took to get these guys together, but there's the family reunion. Tutti, guarda me, guarda me, cheers! First cousins right here. Paola, Giovanna, and Tutti. Now they're taking a look at all the pictures Paola brought and writing <laughs> their names on there. Wes <laughs> That's him. That's him. Scrive su a nome. Scrive. Emanuele. Oh, chi sta a casa? La sua mamma, la sua mamma. Ah, su, dove? Questa mamma questa, da Paola. Questa è mamma di Paola. Sì, sì. Chi sta a casa? Non lo sai, ma chi sta a casa? It was Paola's birthday. They want to wish you a happy birthday. Anche Chrissy. Anche Chrissy. Paola, so you promised your grandfather. What did you promise your grandfather? I said I would come. I would come back to see the place where you were born. Eh. That's, that's him. Now we're all walking. Oh, che bellissimo. Vanny, Vanny. Here's the family walking together. Oh, she doesn't want her to leave. Oh, okay. ciao. Ciao, piacere. Lifelong friends made and family. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandmother, Paula. Grandmother Paula. She died when you were a baby. Yes. I was two weeks old. I was born April 23rd. She died on May the 8th. And I was to be called a different name, and she called me Paula. Paula. And from then, that was it. Yes. My grandfather called me Paula, and my father refused to call me anything else my entire life. I was Paula. What was it like growing up Sicilian in the United States? What was it like? We were expected to be American girls, fully American, and yet there was the feeling from my father and grandfather that we should still be submissive. We stayed here for about two hours. That was such an emotional reunion between the two families, first cousins. And thanks to Facebook, can you imagine that? Not the first time it happened to us though. But what a pleasure to be able to facilitate it and make Paula and the people here in Ragusa happy. This bookstore here has some of my favorite Sicilian books. There's Leopardi from Tomasi di Lampedusa, Andrea Camilleri's book. Of course, he has many others, but he was the one who wrote about Inspector Montalbano, if you guys know about it. There's John Lewis Norwich, History of Sicily. And then this one, here's another one by Andrea Camilleri. And then Ilione di Sicilia, Stefania Alci. Those are very important Sicilian books. This is the only structure in the entire town that remained almost intact after the 1693 earthquake. Look at that. And this was the facade of the church dedicated to San Giorgio.
Of course, they did a little bit of renovations, but imagine that. The only structure that remains. You know, I have my own hints when you go to uh, Ragusa. A little bit different than uh, when you have a Journey of Discovery group. The first thing I want to tell you that if you go visit the Duomo, uh, you need to be dressed appropriately. You can't, if women cannot wear like shorts or their, their uh, shoulders uncovered, they'll make you uh, get a garment on and put it on. That's number one. Number two, whatever you do, find the church of Purgatorio. Church of Purgatorio. It's on a side street that runs parallel with the main street. That's number one. The statues there will blow you away. Number three, walk from the Church of Purgatorio and the road that has all the devastation of the earthquake and see those places that are still there. Now they're starting to fix them up, but that's just an unbelievable thing. Four, make sure you visit, and don't forget to visit the public gardens. It's spectacular views there, you're just gonna knock you out. And as you leave, make sure you stop your car and take a photograph of the new Ragusa and the old Ragusa connected by the bridge. Those are five things that I think when you go visit that town. And then if you wanna go swimming, Go to Ragusa di Marina, about 15 miles away, and jump in a beautiful sea over there with nice sand. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you hit the like and share it with a friend. We'll see you in another video of you, me, and Sicily. Ti voglio bene. Arrivederci.